Hello again, this is Attila from the third card. Alright, well I've uh, continued this job with the previously varnished trim and uh, you know the walls. Yeah, the last thing I did last week was uh, painting the door frames. Painting all the door frames with uh, Dulux uh, Aqua enamel. Well, you can't see the label now, but uh, well, anyway, that's what it looks like. Water-based gloss. So, because the trim was, uh, you know, what I did, I primed the, I primed it with uh, Smart Prime and then I undercoated it with uh, Dulux One Step water based undercoat and then I, I used just one top coat one top coat of the of the uh, water based enamel gloss and this is what it looks like uh, when you're using um, yeah I'm sorry I can't really demonstrate how to you know while I'm painting because I haven't got a tripod for the camera, so I just ha I just have to explain, you know, what you need to take care of when you're painting door frames. Uh, Water-based enamel is harder to work with than oil-based because it dries faster and it's it's um, it's not easy to keep a wet edge. So what you need to do especially on a, on a relatively broad surface like a like a door frame you know like if you go from from this edge you know you, you got to sort of especially if you're cutting in the you know the cutting cutting in the the architrave to the wall rather than uh, you know just painting over the wall and cutting in the wall later so if you have to cut in the architrave to the wall then obviously you know that's that's more fiddly that's, that's going to take even even longer so that will make it even harder to keep a wet edge so what I recommend is um, yeah, well okay let's say you start from the top and you know we bring the paint all all around up to up to this area here so just paint this this little little side and let it let the paint go over to the to this broad middle section here just to just to this side of that section okay if you want you if you if you're doing especially a, a new job then it's always good to wipe off the excess wipe the excess off that comes here and uh, so so don't go all the way around just come up to the this point and you know you start here cut it in go around go around and move in in sections about maybe 20 centimeters like like this yeah and so about 20 centimeters cut in bring it around paint it here bring it around paint it here bring it around paint it here and if you want you can wipe this face off okay if you especially if you're doing I didn't wipe it off I just I just spread it out to make sure that it's not gonna leave a very thick layer so it's not gonna show off and it's not it's not showing off so um, it's not 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 really necessary to wipe it off but uh, you can you know if you want to be very careful so just 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 take about 20 centimeters each time and once you once you got up to there then start again up to from here cut in bring it around bring it around and your last motion again should should always be from the new paint to towards the old so I'll try and find a brush somewhere
Okay, so you cut in here, bring it around, bring it around, bring it around, bring it around, uh, over here, wipe it off if you want, and then your last motion, back brush it up towards, uh, from the new paint towards the old, right? Then you go again, about 20 centimeters, cut in, bring it down, bring it, bring it around, bring it around, bring it around. If you want, wipe it off here, wipe this face off, and then back brush it from the new paint towards the old, yeah? And that's how you go all the way down. So that way you can keep a wet edge and, and just leave this, this broad face, the middle section, unpainted. And after that, you just go around to the other side of the door frame, start the same business, start cutting in from the other edge, cut in, bring it around, bring it around, bring it around. And if you did wipe off the excess from the face, then you can actually, if you really want to, take it all the way around and paint, paint the broad face. But I recommend you not to because this part of this little, little side will still be wet and when you go over the, over the, over the middle face, um, you know, you're going to drag some of the half dry paint and it's not going to look pretty. So I recommend you do exactly the same thing on this side as well. You know, bring it around, paint, 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 and wipe it off if you want, or just spread it out nice and thin. And you know, do the same deal, about 20 centimeters each, each section. Bring it, bring it, and then back brush it up upwards from the new paint towards the old. And that's that's what you do all the way down, and then. You know, you have painted the whole frame except this little, this middle section here. All right, and uh, you can wait with that until, uh, and in fact, you should wait with that until both sides that you have painted are dry, and then you know this should be your last, uh, you know, the last remaining job from the door frames so that's how you should paint a door frame with um, with water-based enamel if you, you know well, with when you're using water-based uh, undercoat it's not that important to to keep to keep a wet edge like this um, because the undercoat sinks in it, it it's not it's it, it sinks in quite well and it's not going to show off uh, any sort of imperfections and even if if you see some sort of bumps and or some, some sort of runs or whatever after the undercoat you can still sand them down but after you put on the top coat there's no sanding so you're stuck with whatever you have